So let's get started. We're going to start down on your back. Lower yourself all the way down and rest your head on the mat. From here, I want you to draw your legs up to what we call tabletop position. Gently grab behind your thighs and pull your belly button in towards the floor as you lift your chest up, sliding your shoulders down your back. From here, without lowering your chest, reach your arms and legs. Circle around. And two. And around so your chest stays lifted. Just gaze towards your thighs. Inhale and exhale. Five. Keep pulling down on the belly. Seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Stay lifted in your chest. Take both hands to your right knee. Stretch your left leg out. Switch. One. Switch. Two. Reach long. Four. Five. Keep pulling down and in on the belly. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Interlace your hands behind your head. Lift your shoulder up towards your bent knee. And switch. Two. Stay with me. Nice and slow. Four. Five. Lift higher, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower down. From here, rest your arms, but extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, keep your shoulders planted, but bring your legs over to one side, letting your hip raise just a little bit. Circle the legs down, around, over, and up. This is corkscrew. Keep your shoulders glued, and use your lower abdominal muscles to steer the belly or steer from the belly, I should say. Just controlling the movement of the legs. Inhale, back the way you came. Exhale, circle around. Now, if you feel any pull in your low back, you should make your circle a little bit smaller until you get stronger. Inhale, and exhale. Your abs are doing all the work here. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more to each side. Those shoulders are just pulling back towards the floor so your collarbone is nice and wide. Last one. And keep the legs up. Externally rotate them so that your inner thighs are squeezing together. Interlace your hands behind your head. Lift your chest. Now pull the belly down towards the floor. Don't let it pooch forward. As you inhale, lower the legs. As you exhale, bring them back up. Only going as low as you can go with still keeping the abdominals pulling in. So it might not be that far yet. By the end of the month, you'll do better. Keep it small if you need to. Five more. Inhale. Three. Lift your chest a little higher. And one. Hug your knees in and stretch your legs long. Reach your arms straight up overhead. We're going into the roll-up. So from here, I want you to float your arms by your ears without letting your shoulders creep. Inhale as you lift your head, neck, and chest. Exhale as you peel up, come into spine, stretch forward. Keep your belly pulling in, your front of your body long curve, back of the body in a long curve. Roll yourself all the way back down with control. Coming right back up, inhale. Exhale, lift from the abdominals, stretch forward, shoulders drawing back. Now if you can't do this, just go part way. Go to right about here and lift yourself back up. Otherwise, continue. We're going to do four more. Keep your rib cage closed, lift that neck and chest, and lengthen the body forward. And control your way down, one vertebra at a time. Lift. Lengthen. Two more times. So you want to do everything in your power to use muscle strength and not momentum. So if you're using momentum, I suggest practicing just about halfway. Last one here. Stretch forward. Good. Stack up nice and tall. I'm going to have you bend your knees. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Reach your arms straight out in front of you. And you're going to roll back about halfway. Keep your hands at about knee height. Now pulling your belly in, pull it in towards your spine. I want you to float one knee up towards you and lower it down and float. Staying still in your torso. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. Exhale, six. 
Seven, real long curves, so it's not crunching, it's long. Nine, one more time. Ten, return the foot, scoop the belly, roll up, stack tall to the other side. Find a position you can comfortably maintain. Ready? Float one, float two, use your breath, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, feel the burn, ten, and roll all the way up. Good. From here, spin around. I'm going to have you do a version of an abdominal, well, let's just do an abdominal plank. So let's go down to our elbows. Elbows directly under your shoulders so you can prop yourself up without feeling strain on the joint. I want you to keep your neck long, head in line with your spine. We're going to lift up and we're going to hold a plank for about 30 seconds. So from here, pull your abdominals in and lengthen your legs out. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Just keep pushing into the ground with your elbows so you can lift up out of your shoulder joint. Keep lengthening through your heels and through the back of your neck. And keep breathing. We've got 10 more seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop to your knees. Push yourself back into a nice rest pose. Take an inhale and an exhale. 